thanks for tuning into this week's video which is going to be an IKEA hack and if you want to see how I did this exact DIY kitchen breakfast island then keep on watching. So firstly you're going to need to go shopping, you need to go to IKEA and pick up two of the Kallax white units for £20 each and they do come in various different colours so you can do it according to your decor and then if you want drawer units and cupboard units they sell those as well, various colours again and the drawers start from £17 for the plain white ones as you can see there and then as you will see they also do the wooden cupboards as well lots of bright colours so you can really play about with this and pick whatever inserts you want but they just slot straight into your shelving units so it's really handy you can make it bespoke to exactly what you need to be storing in your unit and then you're going to also need to be looking at getting some casters if you want yours to be movable around your kitchen you're going to need some casters we used three sets of these casters just for security you will need an extra one to brace the two cupboards together so that's why we used three and finally you're going to need to look for some legs now you're not using these as legs these are going to be using to raise the worktop up above the units I like a little gap underneath you can slide things under your unit as you'll see when I show you it in full detail really really handy and you just can get them in white or stainless steel we chose stainless steel just to match in with the kitchen eight pound for a four pack and that's all you will need now you need to also go onto eBay or a DIY store and look for some form of breakfast bar we did pick breakfast bar up for very cheap on eBay and then all that's left to do is pick some inserts if you'd like for the back of the cupboard which I'm going to be showing you soon or just leave them empty as I've done as you will see but they do sell the baskets to put in the little holes and anything from 250 upwards really lots of different bright colors you can get them made out of material or ones that are more solid but obviously more expensive just play around with it make it exactly as you want it to match your decor and have fun with it so i'll show you all around the breakfast island so you know exactly how we've done it let's get started so John just put the two units together using no nails adhesive and left the units for 24 hours just to dry and make sure that they were firmly fixed together and as you can see here is fitting the casters on and using one set of casters to brace the two units even further there for extra security across the middle. And here's where you can get really creative and add whatever cupboard, inserts, drawers, boxes, whatever you like, just to make it bespoke to you and your needs. And lastly, all you need to do is to screw the legs or brackets as we're using them as here to the underside of your breakfast bar piece, turn it over, no nails glue it back onto the tops of your units and you're done. <laughs> I chose to put the two draw inserts in the tops of my front facing cupboard and as you can see there I've just got all my tea towels, microfiber cloths and also I keep a couple of pinnies in there as well if I'm baking or cooking anything sort of dirty, messy. And the second draw down is just your good old fashioned junk drawer. I've got my free coffee bags in there. I'll leave a link actually if you've not seen my Money Saving Mondays to show you how to get a free Starbucks coffee and then moving across to the right hand side and the top drawer what I have in there is some summer items so I've got some serviettes, plate, paper plates, plastic cutlery, drinking straws and some coasters just all cheap and cheerful reduced stuff from Primark or Poundland and then in the second drawer down at the right hand side is just a couple of dip bowls you can use these in various different ways they were just a pound for two in the sale at Ikea come in really handy and just some random pictures there that we've got that I've printed off for when Amelia's bored on a rainy day to colour in so I chose to put the cupboard inserts into the bottom cubby holes of my unit and in the left hand side I just keep all my ironing equipment so iron, comfort, vapour water and uh, a sticky roller there to get any dog hairs off the clothes and then at the right hand side 
I just keep uh, all of Amelia's baking equipment. This is just a pink box full of Amelia's bits. She's got baking kit there, apron, etc. Little chef's hat that makes her look really cute. And that's just where we store all of that kind of stuff. So when we turn the unit 180 degrees on itself, I've left my units open at the back, as you can see. You could have put those boxes in there as I showed you on the IKEA website, but hey ho, this is how we're doing it for now. And as you can see there, I've got more baking equipment there, empty tins to put uh, baking in, ramekin dishes, and to be fair, most of those were, came free from Marks and Spencers with pâtés and things like that, and melting middle pudding desserts, so always great to pick up some freebies. And in the bottom shelf, as you can see, I've just got my Jamie at home pizza plates and the great big casserole dish which contains all the little dishes to serve up in. And at the left hand side I've got some chargers that I use at Christmas time with the roasting tin for the turkey and a nice big colander. And as you can see there, just the empty space at the top that needs filling with some items now. A couple of features that I particularly like that we've added to the breakfast bar ourselves were firstly the 4-gang extension lead that we plug our laptops into and it's surge protected for that very reason. And then also we've added the movable casters on the bottom. Slightly more expensive, but this is great for shifting the unit about, cleaning underneath. They are lockable wheels, as you can see there. And when they're locked in place, it's really solid, won't be moved around. And you can just pop the lock back undone and wheel it around your kitchen to wherever you need it, which is just so handy. If you look right underneath, you can see that third bracket there just holding the two units together. Very important. My particular favourite feature is the fact that, as you can see there, it seats four people on a normal day, but we made the worktop overlap a considerable amount at the back of the unit, not only to keep it away from the radiator that is housed behind it, but also when we have guests over, we can seat an additional two people, so in total seating six people. And finally, here's an overview of the breakfast bar as you would see it on a normal daily basis for us. And on top there, I've got a lovely Lazy Susan that my daughter Jade bought me for Christmas. A fur plant with Amelia's little hamster sitting in there looking at us. And that was from Ikea, as was the plant pot that it's housed in. And then we do keep our cutlery on the breakfast bar as well, just so it's handy. Amelia sometimes sets up for us for tea. And then I've got a lovely little salt and pepper pot there. Got, I think they were less than 50p, something like 49p each from Wilkinson's with S and P perforated into them. And then the placemats that we use, I think you got four for a pound or four for two pound, very inexpensive again, completely wipeable, made out of plastic. And that is our breakfast bar. That's my lamp there. I really like that as well. That's from Ikea. Wilkinson's brick wallpaper, if anyone wondered. And I do apologise for it not being fully finished, but we're in the middle of doing our kitchen up at the minute. But yeah, just wanted to give you an overview of the breakfast bar because it's been highly requested. So I hope you enjoyed this tour. I will see you in my next video. 